Okay, we're getting ready to go to the fair for our Saturday night gig, East Beach. I figured I'd show you a little uh, thing about East Beach. You see me hunt the beach a lot at East Beach. That's the beach right in front of us. And you hunt there a lot during the winter time. You see, it's got these two little entranceways. This was a this was a big neighborhood in the 40s and 50s. Now it's a little teeny home. They finally tore all those down. They stayed vacant for 15 years, maybe. And then they went in and they started developing it. And that's what it's called now, the East Beach community. It's bordered on two sides by water. Over to the left, of course, is the bay. And right in front of us is the, the jetty that goes into Little Creek, the big naval amphibious base. But it's got all little tree-lined streets. It's got schools. It's a, it's a cool spot. To live in Norfolk, and they host this uh, fair every uh, Saturday morning. Is this the street I turn on? No, I don't normally come in this way. I come in from the backside. <laughs> I'm just giving you a little tour of East Beach. Yeah, I think this is where I gotta go. Now there's condominiums back back in this section right here, and all these are homes down through here. It's a fancy little neighborhood. Stand by. And this is the neighborhood where the fair is. It's just a street or two over from where we were. Here's the fair right here. It's like an area, you know, a playground for the kids. And the vendors are set up. Man, I don't see the macaroon lady. Okay, I'll check with you later. All right, the first knife I'm setting up is uh, my buddy. Uh, John Spruill from the uh, Whole Life Fair in Norfolk on Thursday. I did a lot of work on it at home with the grinder. I got it in good shape and it's pretty sharp. Well, I'm putting a 21 degree angle on it today. Well, I'm, this is my bait knife, so to speak. Where's my gauge thing at? I, I forgot to check the gauge. I just normally set everything up by eye. It's at a uh, D. D on the doodad thing. D is almost perfect. You can see it. It's, I don't know if you can see it with this camera or not, but it looks good at D at 21 degrees. I'm using the uh, 50 grit diamond for the first time to get it sort of broke in. I've never used the 50 grit side till today, but it's uh, I got a burr almost everywhere. About three or four more minutes, I'll be through with this side. Need much work on that one. Okay. But I'll get yeah, well you see it's rough on the back. But it won't be too long on this one. I think it might be in bad shape, but you apparently don't use that one too much. No, no. I'm sorry, Oh yeah, okay. I got you to my first customer, so I'll knock them right out for you about okay. see, uh then I mean fifteen, thirty about 45 minutes I'll be done. Okay. Awesome. Okay, thank Great. you. Thank you me. get this out of the way and I'll set you right up. Awesome. Thank you. See you later. I didn't want to go. 8.42. That's the way I like them. They bring you three at a time. I got a ankle with dimples. I got a dreaded serrated job that looks like it's never been used for anything. It's got a, a, a really big burr on the back of it. Maybe like Somebody, but you can see it looks like immaculate, like it's never been used or anything. And then I got a big old chef's knife, eight inch. <laughs> Stand by. Well, you got a 
gathering knife. I do. Look, I brought them all. I got. Oh, just brought me three. Okay. And I just finished up one of his, so I got about 20, 30 more minutes on these two. Okay, so I'll just leave but these. But you'll be plenty of time because you're the next customer I have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I thought I'd get here early. That's good. All right. And then I have a question. Can you do serrated too? I just, that's what this. That's what I wondered if that that's was serrated. That's what this damn thing here is. Okay, so I could bring my serrated one next time. I didn't hear you say that, but you could bring it. Okay, I'll do it next week. If it's that kind of serrated. It is. It's okay. that one right there. Oh, yeah? Okay. Pretty much that same one. Yes. Yeah. A lot All of right. people use the serrated. Yeah, I like this one. They work pretty good, but they're a pain in the rear end, the sharper. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. It depends on which ones they are. Okay. You know, some of them have got different sizes. They've got a little one, a big one, a little one, a big one. But the big ones like that are nice. Are good when they're all the same consistent size. All right, so I'll just leave them yes, and nice. I'll come back. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This, this is already so old, it's the one I can find. I'm out. Another family of Heckles. Heckles, I mean. I don't know why I call them Heckles. Scissors and six knives. Five little teeny ones. I like them. One big one. The fair is just getting started now. It's a little after nine. We got music. <laughs> and the best thing about being here. Blocko. Queens and Arts. Sabatas. Heckle. And another heckle from one fella. A family of knives. The knives is busy picking up today. Market is doing a little better. It's a little before 10, around 10. You can see the uh, got action, we got music, we got cupcakes. That's right, the best of it. I just got another big old fat Dexter Russell, 10 inch. Not too bad a shape, pretty sharp. Got some microchips in the front. She just wants me to get those out for her. Big old fat boy. 11.53. I got seven minutes <laughs> to do this big old Dexter. Why, I, I know I won't make it, but I'll be close. Last knife of the day. Dimples, dimples, dimples are done. Nice. I did one yesterday, uh, a shun, a really $500 Japanese knife for the head it broke that much of the tip off. Oh, oh wow. And I fixed it for him and sharpened it up for it. Yeah, a mask of steel, really nice knife, big 10 inch cap knife. Yeah, but it turned out great. Thank you so much. Okay, buddy, thank you. See you later. That's it. What's your name? It's Tyson. Tyson. Big old Bowser. Yeah, I got some cookies over there for you, Bowser. You better get over and get you. <laughs> Already wrapped up, got your name on it. How long does it take you to sharpen? The average is about 15 minutes per night, some are less. Now these smaller ones go pretty quick, but the bigger ones, they naturally take long. I'll have to remember that for Okay, thank you. See you later. Oh, is that one of those over there? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Felt more than I thought. Dark stuff here. Oh, oh, I didn't expect to do as much as I um, do. Could you do um, uh, butcher knives? 
Myself. Whole place closed up. I'll still finish it up. All righty, and how much do you think it'll be? That one? Uh, I forgot to look at it. Five dollars. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. That's pretty unique the way you see your body next. Oh, no. Oh, no. for a fella here and did a tip yesterday, yesterday on a fancy Japanese knife a guy dropped it in the kitchen where he That's worked. That's how I dropped yeah. it. That was and broke straight the tip down. Off of it. Yeah. Right. I can bring it back to you next week. That's fine. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm not sure they get yeah, it built next week. Yeah. I can't do it here because no, I don't have the, uh, the stuff to do it with here. Yeah, we're not going to be here for the next two Sundays, actually. That's right. We have a yeah, we can, I use my other knife. Okay. okay. I mean, I have some you more than welcome to borrow. Oh, no, I've got them. Oh, Thank have, you. Look at that. <laughs> What are these? The knives you sharpened that people didn't pick up? or? No, they're just knives I have gathered over the years and I, I can't sell anything here because my license is only for service. Oh. Uh, I, 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 sharp, I say it's for free, but I charge them a dollar or two per knife. You know? <laughs> right. They're free, but they are really free. Do me a favor and write your name and telephone number yep. on here for me. Uh -huh. Yeah, we love our uh, about six knives for us. Love them all. You know, there's another one with a tip one of the smaller I know somebody ankles. I think I think one of our sitters tried to use it for a screwdriver yeah. this it's more it's more aesthetics you know I just oh, hate yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, it yeah, yeah. You don't really well, sometimes use you use the tip, the tip. Yeah, well, fellow, last week he had this he had a bigger chef knife bigger than this mm -hmm. and the tip was way off that to re, re tip it yeah re tip it but the one I did yesterday put it on the high price Japanese light is yeah. just like yours. And my Almost cleaver is beautiful. Oh, oh you had the cleaver. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you Fred then? I'm Fred. Yeah. Oh, nice meeting you. Fred. Nice meeting you. Yeah, we weren't there. My, our house sitter was there. The yeah, dog yeah, sitter. Yeah, the lady. Yeah, the lady. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you went no, Yeah, yeah. Y'all um, are in a trip somewhere. She said London or something. Yeah, yeah. we were. Yeah. For a vacation or you just visit over there? No, right? vacation. Oh, good. Yeah. How was the weather over there? It was, it was rainy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was in the low 50s and 
raining off and on, but I've got all your information out of your fridge. Oh, you know, it's just Fred. Yeah, I've got it on my on my sheets at home. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now you're you're now is your name Max or the other name that's on the email? Tuffy. My real name is Tuffy. Oh, okay. Tuffy. Max. Your business name is Max. Yeah. Some of a lot of my buddies started calling me Max a long time ago. Because it. Oh, I thought it was like Mac the knife. You know, I but I, then I, when I started Mac. this knife business, I said, right. that Max thing will go good with the knife. That's so right. perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> you keep busy? Yes, I'm really busy today. So well, you're, I think you're the only game in town, and yeah. people need sharp knives. And you can't do it by yourself with those self-sharpeners. No, you can, but they don't last. It doesn't, yeah. And they just really ruin the knife. Yeah. And the knives that you have that I sharp with, normal if you kitchen use, they should be sharp a long time. They, they were. I, I do use the the hone. The, yeah, as long as you use that, I use hone like too many times, though. Five or six on each side. Oh, I only do it once or twice. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. If they're sharp, that's all you need. But to get it looking good, though, you might have to increase the number of strokes. We bought this in uh, Germany. Twenty. Years ago, no, 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 no. Uh, Taylor, Taylor, 20, 29 years ago. Years ago. Yeah. It was with, was with we no trash went can. into one of the. We were all excited because uh, we didn't have any good knives. And there was East and West yeah. Yeah. yeah, now you can't even get. Now they wanted to sell them with the wood handles anymore. Yeah, it's all the plastic handles. Yeah, you this see is that? Life I picked up at the fair. Thir I work a fair on Thursday. So it's a really bad wow. show. I've ground it out now. I got it. You ought to see it when I picked it up. I said, Can you do anything with this? I said, Sure. You see it's it to break yeah, yeah, you know, I guess you can pick up some good knives that people have called junk, and you can bring them back to life. But he just wanted me to, if I could restore and sharpen. I said, sure. sure. I'll back here. I figured I'd set up here this morning and use it, but then as soon as I sat down, here come the knives. I didn't have a chance to work on it. <laughs> I'll get it for you, Frank. All right, Tuffy, no thanks. Worries. Yes, sir. Thank Y'all take it easy. Thanks. Me too. And, um... We'll 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 just stop, come by in two two weeks time. Well, if you want, I can drop it off. Or just drop I'm it off when it's done. Yeah, yeah that'd be fine. I All know right. where you live. You now. know where you live. All right. <laughs> See you later. Hey, Seven bucks depends on the knife. Average is about well, this knife is a four dollar knife and uh, can go up or down, you know, the size. This was a oh, three dollar one, the bigger one, the more. This one right here can be a six dollar one, that's gonna be a five dollar one. And then I'll be done if I get through before they close. <laughs> Careful, this thing will reach out and grab it if you're not too careful. Yeah, it's a nice machine, but it's very uh, dangerous. To me, it is. I've never been cut there, but I have some friends I have. You don't do scissors. Yeah, I just got to do it one man. I had three pair last week and one lady. I don't do hair slices, but I do regular scissors. Get some 
I should have pulled off the band too. I don't know what they look like. I get a pair of scissors in my phone. It's desperate. So maybe if you're going to be here next weekend, I assume. Yes, ma'am. Bring them on by. Okay. If you can't chop them, you can't, but you know, at least I'll put them. Yeah. Oh, I think okay, I can chop them. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. 12.15, just finished up the Dexter. Done for the day. Loading up my truck in a few minutes. I don't know what this is going to do for my quest for yellow this afternoon, this storm, but it held off all morning long. We got one or two little sprinkles at the fair, and that was it. But it looks very bleak. Bleak, I say.